Oncogenic activation of receptor tyrosine kinases. Normal situation. When growth factors, shown in orange, bind to the extracellular domains of their receptors, the receptor monomers dimerize. The cytoplasmic tyrosine kinase domains of the receptor monomers are activated and tyrosine residues of the cytoplasmic domain are phosphorylated. The phosphotyrosine residues lie within amino acid sequence motifs, which are recognized by SH2 domains of several cytoplasmic proteins, shown in green. The receptor tyrosine kinase may phosphorylate the bound proteins, creating additional docking sites for SH2 domain-containing proteins, which themselves regulate the activities of other proteins. In this way, a signal cascade is initiated. Autocrine or paracrine stimulation by an excess of growth factors, for example, EGF. Receptors are exposed to an increased concentration of growth factors that are produced either by the tumor cell itself or by adjacent cells. Since a higher number of receptors are occupied, the cytoplasmic signals are more intense when compared to the situation in normal tissue. Overexpression of a receptor, for example, EGF receptor. Due to the amplification or dysregulation of receptor genes, the density of receptor monomers in the plasma membrane increases. The receptors dimerize spontaneously, independent of ligand binding, leading to inappropriate signaling. Mutation in the transmembrane domain, for example, new in rat neuroblastoma. Because of point mutations in the transmembrane domains of the receptors, the receptors dimerize spontaneously independent of ligand binding, leading to inappropriate signaling. Covalent linkage of extracellular domains of receptor monomers, for example, RET. As a result of point mutations in the extracellular receptor domains, cystin bridges are formed between the receptor monomers, leading to signaling in the absence of ligands. Activation of tyrosine kinase domains by mutations, for example, EGF receptor. Due to mutations in the cytoplasmic kinase domain of the receptor, the kinase is constitutively active. Signaling is inappropriate. Dimerization of tyrosine kinase domains through fusion with dimerization motifs of other proteins, for example, NGF and PDGF receptors. Oncogenes may code for fusion proteins that contain tyrosine kinase domains and dimerization motifs from unrelated proteins. The dimers are constitutively active.